all right been away for a minute but now i'm back uh, i just want to say what's up to all my new subscribers thanks for subscribing to my channel uh, and i want to thank all the people that was that have requested me as a friend thanks a lot guys um basically i want to talk about the cancellation of toonami now in my personal opinion I'm glad they canceled Toonami. I mean, Toonami's been dead since 2003, basically, when I graduated high school. It pretty much signaled the end, you know, of all things that are fun and good. And, you know, it just became a, a shitty uh, one hour, two hour long block of un unappealing visually unappealing cartoons now i remember back in the day when it was tight when you know toonami started with moltar and then it had tom and then tom too and they had things like the first they started off with voltron and then they had robotech on there and then i remember one of the classic lineups they'd have dragon ball z and then they'd have thundercats and they had robotech and then they had like fucking tenchi muyo or something like that i remember when they had used to have two hour and three hour Toonami shows like Monday through Friday. Remember Toonami Rising Sun? You wake up Saturday morning, you're thinking Toonami's over, and it's like, fuck you, Toonami's not over. You wake up at 8 o'clock in the morning, they're showing fucking brand new Dragon Ball Z. You know, that was the shit back then, you know? The kids, younger kids now, like my little brother, he's like 11 now. You know, his, kids his age, they're not gonna uh, be able to experience nothing like that on television no more. They're getting stuck with fucking Hannah Montana, all this bullshit. Disney's cranking out Jonas Brothers, they, these wannabe Beatles. You know, and, uh, you know stuff like Naruto. Naruto, I have nothing against Naruto. Naruto to me is watchable, but it's not the greatest anime of all time. Uh, far from it, as a matter of fact. It's clearly a uh, a different version of Dragon Ball Z, but it's not a, a ri total ripoff. But I made I already made a video about that, so that's getting off the subject. <coughs> um, you know, Toonami pretty much led up to what will become. Adult Swim, because late at night, Toonami would show uncut episodes of Dragon Ball Z around midnight. They show uncut Gundam Wing, which was a very good show. It's my favorite Gundam that I've watched thus far. Um, they would show uncut Dragon Ball Z. They would show Space Goes Coast to Coast late at night. And eventually, somewhere down the line, it became Adult Swim. So, to, in many ways, Toonami is the predecessor for Adult Swim and all these shows that showed up on there. Especially when they started showing anime like Neon Genesis Evangelion, which never really... You know, a lot of people were against it being shown on television, just like all the anime fans are against a lot of shows being shown on television for whatever reason. Um, Immortal Grand Prix was a good show. Um, Eureka 7 was an alright show. I, I missed the last epi couple of episodes, but um, all in all, I mean, pretty much, you know, all the anime is going to be handled by Adult Swim now. Toonami Jetstream is just going to be called Jetstream now, you know, and uh, that's that's about it. I mean, you know, just like most cable television programs, when they have a programming block, they never really stick to it. Most networks do this. I've noticed that over the years of my course of my life watching television, I remember when ABC had TGIF, everybody wanted to see TGIF, but they canceled it because they think they're going to get lower ratings because they figure people go out late at night on Friday night. That's bullshit. People don't start going out on Friday night till like 10 or 11 o'clock. <clears throat> so you got clearly from 8 to 10, you got plenty of good programs you can show in between them, but, you know, they don't think that far ahead. And another thing, you know, now they canceled Toonami. You know, USA stopped showing cartoons, which is messed up because they had good shows. You know, it just keeps going on and on and on. They canceled TRL recently, which they should have done, you know, years ago when Carson left. You know, T uh, TRL is just a, a sad joke compared to what it used to be. And, um, you know, the thing I got to say about Toonami is I'm not sad about it because I've been over Toonami years ago because, you know... But, uh, you know, it's time for it to die. You know, it, eventually, some things can't be saved. Some things just have to be put out of their misery. I think a lot of the people, at the, a lot of the top brass up in Cartoon Network, they realize how far gone they've went from what it used to be at its peak ratings. And they used to pull in all the ratings in the afternoon, had the top rated 
children's pro children to teenager programming and you know once they change they changed the format so much that they lost majority of their viewership and they lost a lot of viewership they could have had but you know i'm not in you know i don't know nothing about programming tv so you know whatever this is what they wanted to do i guess that's what happened you know i really don't give a shit whatever all i just got to say is rest in peace toonami hopefully they'll come out with something better if they don't fuck it you know well that's it